People who used to live around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant worry about how much radiation touched them and how much touched their families. Local government officials have released their estimates. They calculated the exposure levels of for four months starting March 12, the day after the nuclear accident. They looked at patterns of behavior where people lived when they evacuated. Exposure in nearly half the scenarios fell below 1 millisieverts, the government's recommended limit. Researchers calculated higher rates for residents of Itati village, up to 19 millisieverts, the benchmark for mandatory evacuation. In this week's Nuclear Watch, we find out more about the risks and what the government is doing to respond to them. Our Jun Yabuchi is here to cover the story for us. So, Jun Yab, how should people read these figures? Uh, these figures are only a model. They are based on patterns of behavior most people are assumed to have taken. So people should not read these levels as meaning someone who lived in a certain area faced this much radiation. They are a guide to ease worries. And nuclear experts say even exposure levels of 20 millisieverts are unlikely to cause health problems. How are people reacting? Uh, well, residents are obviously concerned. Take, for example, a woman named Ritsuko Kanno. She and her three children lived in Itate at the time of the accident. They stayed and moved into a town hall about a month later. And the Japanese government asked residents to leave. Kanno and her family left her hometown for Fukushima City in mid-May. She's worried, like so many others. I'm shocked. They must have known about the risks. Evacuation steps should have been taken much earlier. She and others believe the government should have done more to protect them. Government officials should review whether they took the right steps. So what can Kano and other residents do now? Uh, the estimates provide them with some guidelines, and again, they're just estimates. They help to answer a question people in Fukushima and elsewhere have been asking all along. How much exposure did they face? The local government has been conducting health checks on 2 million residents. They are not done by any means. The government officials need to estimate the radiation level each resident exposed to as soon as possible. All right, thanks, Junya. NHK World's Junya Yabuchi reporting for us tonight.